Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your grade 10 mathematics. Today in our financial math videos, we're looking at higher purchase, the higher purchase agreement. So of course, this is our fourth video. So without any waste of time, let's get into it. So. Um, a higher purchase agreement, or others call it higher purchase loan agreement. Okay, this is a short-term loan. Okay, and note, its interest is calculated as a simple interest. So, with what we are doing in this video, it is basically the application of your present value and... Oh man, I'm saying present value. It is basically the, uh, the application of your simple interest and the compound interest. Okay. So with higher purchase agreement, this is the application of your simple interest. You're going to see others later, which will be perhaps the application of compound interest. Okay. So higher purchase agreement, the interest is calculated as simple interest. Like I said, it is the application of simple interest. Okay. And you still remember what simple interest was. Remember simple interest, interest is calculated on the principal amount, right? Interest is calculated only on the principal amount, all right? Now, for normally these things, higher purchase is when you cannot afford to buy an item in cash. So what do you do? You are sometimes required to, not sometimes, all the times, you will be paying a certain deposit and that deposit goes towards you buying this, you buying this item, okay? It goes towards you buying this item. However, you will be um, accumulating some interest. So you're not going to be paying exactly um, the cash price as agreed. You will be paying. So this is different to what you call lay by. Okay, guys. This is different to what you call lay by. So with this one, there's, there is an interest that the, the, the stores are getting. Okay. So now, yeah. The principal amount of your higher purchase is basically the dif uh, the difference of the cash price and the deposit that you will be paying. Okay, and do not worry, we are going to have an example where we break this down. So what is happening here? You can pay um, per month, you can pay towards that item per month or however period as long as you are paying according to whatever that's designed for your loan. Okay, so now... With higher purchase agreement, the steps are these. One, you need to determine the principal amount. Recall, principal amount is basically, let me call it P, is basically cash minus deposit. Okay, it's basically cash minus deposit. Then you have to calculate the accumulated amount. What is the accumulated amount? It is A equals P into 1 plus I times N. Right? I times N. Then when you are done, you need to know what are your monthly payments. So your payments will be um, the accumulated amount over number of months. Okay. Number of months per the agreement of your deal. Okay. Per the agreement of your deal. So this, these are the steps that you're going to take when you want to calculate when you want to calculate or when you want to deal with higher purchase loan agreement. Okay. So just, uh, it would be just this if we give you an example to bring this to life. So you see it. Okay. So example, um, her name is Rebecca. So Rebecca buys, ooh, Rebecca buys a, 6,300 heater on higher purchase agreement or on higher purchase agreement, okay? On higher purchase agreement, okay? She pays a 10% of the um Okay, she pays a 10% deposit. She pays a 10% deposit. Okay, she pays a 10% deposit 
and paste the remaining and paste the remaining and paste the remaining loan amount and paste the remaining loan amount of over 24 months over 24 months at an interest of at an interest of 9% per annum at an interest of 9% per annum okay so the question here is um what are her monthly what are her monthly payments what are her monthly payments okay <clears throat> what are her monthly payments now to say our solution she is paying a 10 percent deposit so what is this um her deposit is 10 percent of 6300 which is 630 rand okay it's 630 rand okay you don't need to use a calculator for this guys okay you just move one one zero or you just move one digit to the left and that's it 630 right now what is the principal amount now the principal amount is cash what is the cash price of this heater it is six thousand three hundred and then what is the deposit it is six hundred and thirty remember i said to you here the principal amount is the cash price minus the deposit so what is this this is so this is um normally it can be 5.7 so instead of 5.7 it'll be 5.670 is that so it'll be 5.670 so 5670 right? okay you guys have calculators i hope you got 5670 isn't it 5670 okay perfect now we can find the accumulated amount right now we can find the accumulated amount so the accumulated amount so the accumulated amount will say a is p into one plus i times n guys please note the n they said we have uh, this is paid over 24 months a year is made of 12 months this means the n is two right this means n is 24 months over two which is Remind over 12, which is 2. Okay, now what is the accumulated amount? It is 5, uh, yeah, it was 5,670 plus what was the interest rate? The interest rate was 9%. 9%, 9 over 100 is 0 0.09. And then what is the number of years? It's 2. Now take out your calculators and tell us what we are getting. So five six seventy into zero comma one eight, I believe. No, one comma one eight, I believe. Right. So what is this? You guys got six thousand six hundred and ninety point six zero, isn't it? So this is the. So this is the total, isn't it? This is the accumulated amount of this load, isn't it? Right. perfect perfect now let's look at the monthly install monthly payment let's look at the monthly payment let's look at the monthly payments they are monthly payments are the six thousand six hundred and ninety comma six zero over 24 what is this 6690 over 24 the number of months is 24 so this means oh see rebecca you will be paying 200 and um what is this you will be paying 278.775 
Otherwise, we can round it off and say also, Rebecca, you'll be paying 278 rands and 78 cents. All right? Also, Rebecca will be paying 278 rands and 78 cents. Now, let's expand this question and say, how much did Ausi Rebecca pay in total? Right? How much did Ausi Rebecca pay in total? Right? How much did she pay in total? We can say, we can take this value here or we can take this value here, whichever is correct. Or you can even use this one here. It's okay. Okay. So total that Ausi Rebecca paid is, what is it? It is the, if you like, you can say it is that amount times 24, right? It is the 2,000, oh, no, 278, comma, 775. How many 278, comma, 775 did she make? 24. Plus, she also paid a deposit of 630. Isn't it? What is this? This then becomes 7,000, 7,320.60. So, Aus Rebecca in total has paid 7,320 rand and 60 cents. Oh, how much interest is this? Imagine the interest is 6,300 minus, oh, sorry, this value minus 6,300, isn't it? This value minus 6,300. Imagine, right? So interest paid, so interest paid, interest paid is 7,320. Imagine, imagine 7,320 minus 6,300. Ooh, also Rebecca has paid how much? 1020 10, 1020 rands and 60 cents sorry and 60 cents do you see this this is how much Ausa Rebecca has paid do you guys see this this is how much interest Ausa Rebecca has paid I hope you guys now understand it all right so guys this is how you this is how you calculate your this is how you calculate your loan purchase low uh, your higher purchase loan agreement these are the calculations involved okay these are the calculations involved and of course you will also see a case where they mentioning um maybe say uh premiums when they talk of premiums you will need to add that premiums to the monthly payment okay if they ask you for a premium please add it to your monthly premium uh your monthly payment okay i repeat if they ask you of a premium please add it to your monthly payment okay all right guys so this is it this is what um yeah this is what higher purchase loan agreements are about and so i hope you guys are enjoying this and you will ace this aspect in your examinations so with that being said it's a wrap and bye